tell you a story about how pine trees came to be in Onamagi. Abistinage, an American Martin, told me the story in a dream. But the elders, they say the story's been known for a long, long time. As the story goes, Gluskap has promised to grant the wish to any warrior who could get past the danger on his way to the magical lodge. There were three warrior brothers. They all lived together in the time of legends. The first brother was very tall, but also very vain. He wore his hair greased high and topped with partridge feathers to make himself appear even taller. He wanted to be taller than everyone. The second brother was lazy. He would go to the forest and sit while everyone else worked. The third brother, he was the oldest of the three. He knew that elders were wise and respected, and he wanted that for himself. He wanted to live to be very old, but remain healthy. He did not want to give up the strength of youth for the wisdom of old age. The brothers passed all the dangers on the way to Gluskap's magical lodge. The warriors were very brave and easily met every challenge. They wanted their wishes granted. All the while, Abistinouch looked on and reported back to Gluskap. When the brothers arrived, Gluskap, he was expecting them. He knew all about their journey, their strengths, but also their weaknesses. He knew they were full of pride and wanted to be better than anyone else. Gluskap was very wise and wanted to teach the warriors a lesson that would be very useful to all of us in more ways than one. He asked Abistinouch to feed the warriors. When the warriors were well fed, he asked them about their wishes. The first brother said, I wanted to be the tallest of them all and towering over all the rest. The second brother said, I want to go to the forest, sit, enjoy the beauty and never have to leave again. The third brother said, I want to have all the knowledge and be the wisest there is. To do that, I must live longer than everyone, but always remain strong and healthy. It just so happened that Giuk, the earthquake, lived in a nearby cave. So Gluskap then called upon the power of Kiuk and opened the forest floor. He took the three brothers and planted them in the forest floor. They became pine seedlings. Eventually, the warrior brothers grew and became the first pine trees. They joined the richness and diversity of the old growth forest. You might still see the three brothers if you travel to the Cape Breton Highlands. One pine tree is so tall it towers above all the rest. Its top bough is like partridge feathers blowing in the wind. The second brother's roots are so deep it will never leave the forest. And the third brother lives until today just like his brothers and is evergreen and healthy. He will live a very long time, as long as we take care of the forest and do not cut it all down. Abistinouch lives with the brothers in the forest, taking care of it and teaching us how to protect it. Now we'll get if we were humble and listen to him, especially if he comes to us in a dream, the pine trees will always be with us. The forest will be diverse and healthy. It will continue to serve us and all the other animals. It will help keep us sheltered, warm and fed, drinking clean water and breathing clean air. This is what the pine trees help the forest to do for all of us. It is our job to take care of the forest so it can take care of us. Ah!